boys and girls, we're going to be making a few robots. So first, we're going to divide our paper up. I want you to fold it in half. Hot dog way. We're trying to get three, so I'm gonna fold this side over. This side over. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could try though. Open it back up. Smooth everything out. Take your black pen. Your marker, I'm sorry, not a pen. All right, let's get to sketching. This one first. Let's see if I can zoom in, there we go. Okay, you need a pencil and your imagination. Well, work with me. Okay, we're going to use simple shapes to make a robot. But first, let's sketch out our center line. Make a big giant plus. Everything is done lightly. Everything above here, I'm going to make the head. Everything below, the body. So I want a big head. I'm going to use this shape. Now below, I'm going to leave a gap and make it smaller, keeping it very symmetrical. I'm going to make some legs. Let's see. Just gonna use sticks for now. I'm gonna stick with this same shape. Okay, let's give him a bigger neck. I guess we could give him bigger legs too. Let's make his arms one up, one down. Down, up, like he's waving. He has magnet hands. Make him fatter hands. Let's give him a face. He needs some antennas. See in the middle, I think we're gonna add a couple shapes. Maybe that's a door so you can, I don't know, open it up and see what's going on inside. Okay, so that's robot one, robot two. Let's sketch again. Let's make that center. That's our center right here. Let's see, I'm gonna make, let's make a round one. There's his belly. Now his head, I'm gonna make it way up here. Big rectangle. Okay, his neck is really short. I'm gonna make big eyes. Oh, I just get that over. Maybe a little mouth. That one looks a little angry. How about one antenna? Um, short little legs. I'm gonna be on on wheels. How about a gauge in the middle? I think it has these measuring lines. I'm gonna put both arms down. You know what, down to the ground for more wheels. Pretty good sketch. Everything is right there. All these guidelines line up pretty well. I like this robot. Let's go to robot number three. Okay, let's see. Got my center line. Hmm. I think I'm gonna start out with a rectangle below my center. Stack this. This is his big neck. There's his head. Oh, a smile. 
what an antenna that goes to this side. Make him look like he's doing something very important. Taking a, a reading on something. I think he needs, let's give him one leg. One leg, but it's like a wheel. Yeah, he can have arms, but they're retractable, so they can go back in. Like here's a here's a hand. Here's the little thumb. Kind of look like mittens. Okay, so there's number three, number two, number one. Let's make number four. Okay, get your center line. Let's do a floating robot. I'm going to put him up a little bit higher, above center. Instead of him having wheels or feet, he's going to have flames. Because he can fly and he has a little engine. Let's give him a rectangle, but it's a rounded rectangle for his face. Connect a little bit. He just needs eyeballs. Ooh, he can have angry eyeballs. He's a little mad. This looks like a t-shirt when I do this. Let's see, let's give him just hands like that. Okay, that's number four, number five. Let's see, center line. Hmm. I think I'm going to start at the top this time. Here is a light bulb. So instead of him having an antenna, he gets a light bulb. And he's going to have a trapezoid face and a really thick neck and no eyeballs. Just a smile on his neck. <laughs> okay, a little rectangle body right here. Maybe some more gauges down here. Let's see. Let's give him some crazy legs. circle. Give him some arms too. He can be waving. Okay, that's number five. Number six. See, let's get our center. I like that trapezoid shape of the last one, so I think I'm going to use that for the body. Let's just give him some little legs. Some arms at the side. Let's see. There's his neck. I like that shape, that rounded shape right here. These almost look, his antennas on his sides look like, uh, look like some headphones. There's his eyes. Let's give him a door. There's a handle. All right. Okay, here are your six sketched robots. They're fairly symmetrical, but they take up the space that I wanted. You can try these with me, and if you want to, on the back, you can make more. There's six spots to make more robots on your own. So I will see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.